Hi, I'm Zach Kazahusky from GolfWRX.com. I'm here with Rob Rigg, president of True Links Wear. Now, Rob, you're launching a new product here at the 2013 PGA Show. Yep. Tell me a little bit about it. I know Ryan Moore won the Justin Timberlake Shriners Open in this yep. product. So this is our new shoe. It's called the True Proto. Um, we have an updated outsole. It's a little more, uh, little more support around the side. Ryan wanted something that he could really hit into. So the shoe is still very barefoot, but we decided to add a little more outer ridge on the side. So when he's transferring into that left side, he can really power through. Um, strategically placed traction elements. This is a rubber outsole. If you sliced it here, it's three millimeters thick, so it's very, very thin. And then it has five millimeter traction elements. So when you wear it off the course, you get a little more cushioning on, on the pavement just because of the rubber traction elements. But when you're on the course, the grass gets right through those elements. You can feel the sand, you can feel the green. It's, uh, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty intense if you haven't tried our, our shoe before. Um, upper is super, sop, super supple leather. It's the same as the Stealth leather, which is our $200 shoe. Very, very soft. And that makes the shoe really flexible. Um, and I mean, really, this is still the only barefoot shoe. There's a couple of shoes come out there that say barefoot or natural motion, but at the end of the day, to be a barefoot shoe, there's five key elements that we have in our shoes that other Well, you, well, you go ahead and explain those and talk more about the barefoot technology. I'm gonna try on a pair of these shoes and see yeah. how they feel, okay? So I'm gonna awesome. hand you the mic. Awesome. So, yeah, when you pick those up, um, the first thing you'll notice is that it's zero drop. So that's the first element of a barefoot shoe. It means that your heel and your forefoot are on the same level. There's no heel. Our thought process in making the shoe is that, you know, if humans were supposed to have heels, then they would have evolved with one. We don't have heels for a reason. So the, what is, how does that change the way that the shoe performs? Uh, it lets you stand naturally. So if you, if you think about it, if you're just standing there and you raise up off your toes a little bit, mimicking what it would be like to have a heel in a shoe, you feel your body, your knees kind of shift out, your back kind of shifts down, a little bit of pressure on your back, and that's not natural. Your body is not in a natural position, and the only way that we believe you can execute a golf swing properly is if you're in a natural position. So our shoes get you balanced, they get you close to the course, um, they have a thin outsole, which is the second element of a barefoot shoe. The third is flexibility that I showed in the shoe. The wide toe box is number four, so your toes can kind of spread out and you gain traction that way, really kind of digging into the ground. Most shoes are built on a narrow last, which doesn't help stability, but if you have a wider toe box, your toes can get out there almost like your hands do and you can create stability there. And then they're also lightweight, which is the fifth element. A lightweight shoe, you can walk in them all day. I've walked, you know, 144 holes is my record in our shoes in one day. And you can absolutely do that. 36 out of the box, no problem. Well, I definitely trying them on. I noticed that they're flatter, they're lighter. Uh, they're also wider through the toe box. Sure. So they're everything you say they are. When are they going to be available uh, in stores and how much are they going to cost? So the Proto is 169 it's available online now and we're shipping out to retailers uh, this week. And tell me about sizing. I, I know I've tried in a couple different sizes here and, and it seems to me that they fit, you know, if I wear say an 11 and a half foot joy, I might need maybe a smaller size than a True Links wear. What have you heard from your customers? Yeah, it really depends. So, you know, depending on how wide or narrow your foot is, because if you have a wide foot and you put it on a narrow, on a shoe with a narrow last, it pushes your toes out more. So we kind of get everything across the spectrum. Generally, we tend to fit about the same as Adidas, uh, half size either way on foot joy. So it really just depends. But we have a, you know, if you're in a store or if you're order from our website, it's free returns. So we'll swap out shoes for you. That's no problem. Um, so we usually say just kind of go with what you're wearing in, in the golf shoe you have right now, and that should be a pretty good starting point. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for telling us about True Linkswear. Great. Thanks very much, Zach. Thank you. Appreciate it.